Thinking about selling your home? Let's look at some of the legal aspects about selling, including getting your documents together. For example, any sort of debt, encumbrance, or lien against your property will need to be taken care of before you can sell. These can include state, local, or school taxes that haven't been paid, civil court judgments, child or spousal support missed payments, failure to pay HOA fees, that's homeowners association dues, and utility bills that haven't been taken care of. It's important that you gather important documents before we meet for your listing appointment. And these include your deed, a survey, evidence of encumbrances, liens, judgments, etc., appraisals, if you have them, documentation of any major repairs, damage to the house, home improvements, especially warranties that can be transferred to the new owner, any agreements made between tenants or cohabiting partners, and any copies of restrictive covenants or agreements. For example, if you have a shared driveway, perhaps there's a shared driveway agreement. If there's a divorce situation, you'll need to gather documents for that from your attorneys about the decision to sell your home. This could include a court order, a divorce decree, a document agreeing to split the proceeds, or co-signing the transfer deed to the new buyers. A little sidebar on divorce situations. One time, I helped a couple sell a house, and they were divorcing. He had moved out and was living with his parents, and she was staying there with her new boyfriend. He wanted to buy her out for a fair 50-50 price, but she wasn't having anything to do with that. She wanted it listed for the maximum price. Well, let me just say, after all the dust settled, months after months of the house not selling, price reductions, problems that came up with the home inspection, and so on, at the closing table, after commissions were cut, she would have made more money if she had simply agreed to sell the house to him for a fair price up front. There is a federal law called the Home Equity Theft Act that states that when you list your house for sale, your property is not in foreclosure, it isn't in default on your mortgage payments more than two months, and it isn't in trouble with school or property taxes. Please read number four of the exclusive right to sell contract, which details this. Also, if you do go into default during the time that you have the house listed for sale, you're required by law to disclose that to me. One more thing, you'll need to know how much you owe on your house if you have a mortgage. Be sure to call your lender and find out what your payoff balance will be.